Hello. Hello, friends, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> Don't want to start with that one. Uh, so we're back again with uh, drams with bams. <sighs> yeah, yeah. See, here we go. Made historical references straight away again. So another few episodes to film today. Uh, it's another group of interesting whiskies for you. Uh, that hopefully you all go. Hmm. Aren't they clever? Mm. That would be good. Like mm. it's a little bit camp as well. Aren't those whiskies clever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I, th I hope they defer us as clever, but no. Nah, that's... All right, that was maybe wishful thinking. Ships have sailed <laughs> and crashed and burned. So first today, indeed, is one that you uh, have. You you've been to the distillery. You've been Me? On... Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no. No. The, no. No. The other the other person here I was filming with us. To the world or talking to me. Uh, yeah, sorry. The first one is Dalmore. It's uh, their, I think, pretty much entry level uh, expression. It's a Dalmore, twelve years old. Uh, yeah, there we go. You probably recognise that bottle. It's very, very uh, distinctive with its big twelve pointer stag on the front. Now, why do they have the twelve point stag? Oh, yeah. Please tell us. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I like this. I like Dalmore. It's just because it's like I, I visited it. A bunch of years ago and it's really nice it's a really nice distillery a lot of them are kind of most distilleries you know they're sort of the same there's little idiosyncrasies and things but uh it was a really nice one uh it was right down on the, the sort of riverfront and uh very picturesque and they have a wonderful history and it's just really nice but uh what was it yeah the stag so the stag uh during the reign of king alexander the third he was out on us on a hunt on the estate and uh, a stag was about to gore him but a man jumped out and s killed the stag and saved the king and for doing that sorry this man was a member of the Mackenzie clan and uh, he their clan was then granted the 12 point stag as a crest for their family uh, the royal 12 pointer and then Mackenzie's ran uh, downward distillery for a long time and that's why all the bottles have the 12 pointer royal appointed stag as the crest and uh, it's everywhere in the distillery everywhere and uh, but it's, again it's a really really nice distillery to visit not just for the area of the country that's in but for the uh, they, they have a lot of their vintage equipment and and stuff like that and it's very very nice it's not just pipes and a laptop there are some very nice things to do and they're very nice people and just really nice distillery there's a painting of called the killing of the stag i believe and it's in the the national gallery in edinburgh i probably and then <laughs> uh, but they've got a, they've got a, as you can see i'm not exactly an art critic uh, uh but they have a copy of it in the visitor center in dalmore and it's a huge huge kind of wall-sized painting and it's uh, it's very nice it's very interesting if you're into that kind of Anyway. Boom, nailed it. Out of the whiskey. Yes, so uh, the 12 year old is uh, matured for the first nine years in uh, ex bourbon American oak and then finished off for its final three years in uh, ex Oloroso sherry casks. And it's rather nice. Quite it's banging. Cool. It's just like a proper, like something you got to chew. I get this is one that a lot of people have tried before because it's a pretty pretty standard one the 12 these it's, it's you know, if someone's got a dalmore they're likely to have this on the shelf dalmore are pretty expensive the, the 15 is uh, really good as well um we were going to use the 15 uh before lockdown f as part of our introduction to whiskey a videos man. we're going to do a man a man a man what? told me tell me a story about that man a man told me whether or not it's true or not a man told me that due to some cock up oh yes yes in yes. downward distillery that the 15 is actually closer to being like 19 years old but they're just like okay just just bottle it it'll be fine i mean i don't know whether that's true or not but it'd be nice to know it'd be nice to think that's true if you have a 15 you're maybe getting an 18 or 19 but just i would imagine it just because of some cock up in the distillery but i don't know maybe maybe i'm wrong that's, that's nice amazing story. isn't it it's, it's just, lovely you get this huge sherry hit and then it's like sort of christmas cake raisins yeah. Uh, dark chocolate, sort of dried fruits. It's really easy to drink that. So Christmas like, cake. That could be. It, it, 
well it has been a, a very dangerous one to drink because christmas it's, cake absolutely it's just, it's just lovely it's, it's a really nice one simple to drink they're pretty much known for being just super viscous thick yeah. chewy sherry bombs it's oh yeah it's lovely really nice really really nice. A cracking one that that's they're really expensive nice. for what they are like in comparison to other drams of similar ages and things like mm. that i mean i've seen dalmore bottles that go for tens of thousands of pounds it's ridiculous and that's the way with big, it though well, they've got big dick working for them <laughs> they uh it's a prestige. i mean dick patterson he's it's, like a it's he's a like prestige a... though isn't it that goes along with certain blenders oh. and names and distilleries oh, nice. and it's the same reason a few other um ones in there that we've got are dick patterson certainly are, one are, of the are more, more ones, like. are, are a higher price than you would think for something of that age mm. because some of them are so yeah it's just a bit of prestige that comes with it uh this one not the case but some of them are rarer so they cost more even though they're maybe brand new ones out something like the daft mill are really rare so they cost a little more for what they are yeah but, this is just a standard that's it's yeah. your entry level in their standard and range it's, it's really nice i mean you'll be I mean, you'll be able to buy that in a supermarket you know like it's not aye. it's not like a oh, difficult yeah. to get kind of thing you'd be able to walk if in you want to come try it first you'll, 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 well yeah absolutely <laughs> walk in it walk in it anywhere and pick up a yeah. bottle of that it's just so nice yes. it's so easy to drink i mean it's like it's my first round of the day it might shock people to know it's actually and... my first round of the day. <laughs> i don't know why people would be surprised by that we're very professional look you're the, quite professional look to the camera and say we're professional i can't you don't want to lie, lie to the people <laughs> i can't I lie to the don't people don't lie to the people uh oh, you're fucked yeah i know they're really really nice they're like uh it's a good sort of uh little, little, like a starting dram, I'd say, because I think a breakfast that, dram. I think we spoke about this in yeah, some yeah, of the videos. Well, a breakfast dram. Uh, I don't know if I'd classify that as a breakfast dram. That's certainly like late well, afternoon. A brunch one. Late afternoon. <laughs> uh, late after. I don't like brunch. Late afternoon, uh, definitely. But you know what I mean. It's uh, if you were just being introduced to drinking whiskey. There's, it's not it, like it's really sort of quite smooth. Yeah, I mean that's why we were going to go for the. Um, the Danmore 15 in the in the introduction one because the 15 is is, is a little a little bit nicer but it's it's still got the same smoothness um and easy to drink to start so if, if you're doing an introduction uh, to whiskey thing like we had planned to do before lockdown which we will do again it'll still include the Danmore 15 because it's yeah they're it's, cool i'm not sure if it's just an extension of that same process you know like nine years in x mm. and then longer in the in the I think, yeah, sherry. I, I don't know. So um, it'll be something. But, it's something to find out when we actually. Well, this is it. Yeah, yeah. when we get to doing the uh, intro one, it, we'll certainly have more information on it ready for that. And I could just sit in that all night. It's just really nice. I couldn't. I drank it. Um, it's gonna be a long evening for me, I think. But uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty short evening for me. I'm that. <laughs> it was. Just, it's just really easy to drink. I mean, if you can accidentally neck it in two, even if it's not quite a full nip we're doing. Oh, 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 he's getting murdered. Oh, you don't look happy about it's that. A, it's a wasp. A wee wasp. Don't sting me, you little bugger. So, oh, don't go my whiskey. Oh, no, then we'll fall out. If it goes my whiskey, we're going to be in serious trouble. Don't steal it. I want to get him in the whiskey glass. Getting drunk? Yeah. We're getting really distracted from what we're meant to be doing you here again. You stay away from my dram, you little bugger. Anyway, um, shall we get back to the whiskey rather than following a wasp around the table? It's just because I spot it was in my heat. <laughs> I'm sure there's always buzzing going through your head. It maybe came out of my heat. <laughs> Does anyone see it going one ear and out the other? That yeah, might have <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's yeah. really, really nice. And uh, like I say, if you like a big day, sherry, yeah, like a sort of big sherry bomb, that's a lovely one to start with. Uh, yeah, and like I say, if you're looking for a distillery tour, uh, when obviously if the world ever, you know, opens back up again. Uh, See, I know all this stuff because I quite like it in my notes. I've just got Stag, King Alexander, <laughs> Mackenzie, blah, blah, blah. Because I know, I know. I've, I've gone He's got to, the details written down in a detailed fashion. To, very, no, no, very, no, well, I very a, to the point. I have a little book because I figured that I would start writing this stuff down. Uh, just because we keep, really. well, also because we keep forgetting which ones we tried and not tried and what we yeah. think of them because. Quite frankly, we've gone through a lot these and days. It's quite nice just to record these things, and you can tell which ones you know. So I've been relatively sort of uh, sober and uh, succinct. What's that word you used earlier on? Professional uh, with these ones. <laughs> I'm not surprised and you don't then, remember that one. Then, then it gets into here. I mean, that Dean stain I've just written. 
fucking really nice. So like, it just, <laughs> who knows? Yeah, I mean, banging. There's another it, one it's there. It's right, but yeah, you can see where maybe there's been a couple extra grams beforehand. Yeah. Anyway, right. back to that one. That's, yeah. That's so that's that's a Dalmore 12, uh, the entry level Dalmore. Um, as we we said a couple times there, if we when we get back to doing the the intro to whiskey uh, tasting, we want to do. A long, long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might, if you're, if you're on that intro to whiskey tasting, you might find yourself sitting next to some of our staff who are going. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna, actually who, true. Who are going to be getting taught about whiskey? Absolutely. Like or not. So <laughs> you should probably remind some of them how to work in a bar. You know? It's uh, never going to work. <laughs> so the next one, if Pete, if Pete wants to finish that one, we're on. No, I don't know. You're just Sorry. Oh, we're fucking, we're rattling through this, man. So the next one is a brewery Gladdy, uh, which, good. which is, it's one of my. I really like Brew Claddy. Brew Claddy. Brew Claddy. Brew Claddy. I don't know how you say it. Someone, someone, will, someone will complain about it. Yeah, yeah time, tell but. us if we got it wrong. We get all half these things wrong. We're no linguistic experts. And that was quite difficult to say. Uh, so this is what we've spoken about this briefly in another video. Uh, I can't remember what we were actually speaking about the video, but we spoke about the guy uh, that's named after. So this is a Brew Claddy. Um, it's the 3D3 3rd edition. Trib uh, it's a Nori Campbell tribute bottling. And Pete has his notes on hey, this. Hey, yes, he does. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, Nori Campbell was, uh, by all accounts, a uh, quite well known. Uh, he was a, a traditional peat cutter. Uh, Pete's like protected and stuff now, so I don't know about that. It's probably a, a, a whole interesting process in its own, but uh, certainly traditionally they used to cut it with these old weird uh, little shovels. I think they're called a rutter and a flotter or something like that. If you know anything more about this, please feel free to correct me. But uh, a rutter and a flotter, I think they're called, and these different types of, uh, like a special type of shovel for cutting peat, I think. Anyway, so this lad was like the last of like the sort of uh, traditional peat cutters uh, on the island, and he passed away in 2006. Now, from what I hear, he was a bit of a lad. <laughs> uh, so uh, I imagine, I think that there's a quote saying that... Uh, those angels won't know what I'm going to hit them. Cause <laughs> so I get the impression he was a, he was a lad. Yeah, so and, I mean, uh, we read up on it a little bit when we boy. got the bottle. It was, it was an auction bottle we managed to get. And um, Sorry, I'm clicking this pen right next to that. <laughs> Apologies. Just deafened everyone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we look at, look, like, looking at some of the stories, he's, he was basically renowned through Isla um, for his character. Yeah, which, character. Uh, which, uh, I mean, uh, read yeah. it to that as you like. <laughs> look him up yourself. I mean, it's an interesting little story. And uh, we wanted to get this because this is a uh, this is the heavily peated. Is that right? Is this it, 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 so it is there. It's the the, uh, the the first and second editions. I think were less mm -hmm. uh, peated than this. It is. Yes. So uh, this is so the heavily peated of the series. Series. It contains uh, Bruch Laddie, Port Charlotte, and the very first Octomore. Uh, an Octomore, so there are th it, for the people who know, or people who don't know, is uh, is literally the peatiest whiskey you can get. They, it's one of them, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's uh, Octomore is, is produced by the same company as Booth Laddie yeah. and, and Port Charlotte and stuff like that. Progressive Heavy Beam Distillers, mm -hmm. I think they're called. Yeah, that's correct. And, uh, and Octomore is like a, their, their sort of newest kind of uh, distillery or, or, or range, I guess. And... Uh, the very first Octomore was put into this, apparently. So it's three different, three different malts from three different warehouses, uh, at three different, uh, sorry, uh, three, three different malts, three different ages, from different warehouses, uh, different ages, and different peat levels. Sorry, I finally got there in the end. Which is weird, because like, I'm having so, really struggling getting my words out today, man. It's real bad. I so think it's so the thing is, it's burnt toast. <laughs> so it's a blended, but it's. A bit odd, but it's blended by the same distillery, basically. I, I guess because Port Charlotte, Octomore, and Brewer Gladi are all the same company. Um, I believe. But then it's oh wait a minute, that's interesting. There's it's a still like, but it's still classified as a single malt. So they're all from the same technically distillery. Yeah. Just different processes, so it's still technically a single malt. Yeah, yeah, it's it's well, it is all the same distillery. Well, it's three cause... different distilleries, if you think about it. Because yeah. it's from Port Charlotte, Octomore, and Brew Gladdy. But it's all it's all very different. It's all per, it's, it's all under the same under the same lid. Yeah, so it's, you'd um... be that's mad, that. Well, it's 
progressive Hebridean distillery. It's all so. made in the same, in the same distillery. That's interesting. Just on different days, I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. Because so, Port Charlotte's peatier yeah. than, than Brew Fladdy, so all, you'd have well, to. Because Brew sort of the unpeated version, isn't it? To mind, like they, most of theirs are way, way less peaty than any of the other ones. I, I, I wouldn't say a Brew Fladdy's like a thing on its own. Yes. it's not like a, a non-peated version of Port no, Charlotte. No, 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 I think no, no. That would be doing no, a disservice. Yeah, yeah, no, no, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's interesting. You know what? It never dawned on me before that you know that that's essentially three different distilleries, but it's still a single malt. But yeah, that's odd. I'm gonna have to look at that. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna drink it. Yeah, you, you you go for it. This is as Ooh. far as I'm aware. Uh, that smells incredible. <laughs> approximately forty ppm. Which so what would what roughly what's like a Lafroy or. I think they're about 55. All right, so this is just slightly less PE ish. than a sort of Lefroy, which is quite quite PE for a brewery cladi. Yeah, Port Charlotte, I'm pretty sure I know Port, uh, the Port Charlotte's PE to roughly the same. So it's different, it's like a weird level of of things because we you have a, like a combination of the three of them together and it sort of evened itself out because the Octomore be very, uh, the brewery cladi not as much and, and the Port Charlotte meeting in the middle kind of thing. This is really good. You know, you always say I, I, I say things and it, it makes it sound not nice. They've actually said this tastes like paraffin. That's in the actual thing. They're like it's paraffin. It's not great. I, I, hang on, our, our, our bar person is mouthing things behind the camera. What would you like? <laughs> Use your words. Okay, that's fine. It's all right. It's all good. Oh, Jesus. Um, it's you. It's fine. So we're back to it anyway. Right, here we go. It's all right. Yeah, so yeah. Just a small so in the, the in the nose, uh, it was paraffin. Yeah, which you can totally get. And yeah, it, and it's not um, it's not an unpleasant. Thing. Absolutely. But she has a booking at home. She's welcome to the captain. Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's good. It's all it's right. We're just filming a whiskey video here, boys. <laughs> Fine when you go. The the receipts behind the till stuck to the wall. What would they do without us, quite frankly? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Question is, how happy would we, would we be without them? You can't say anything when I'm with your girlfriend. Back to the whiskies. Naughty. So, um, yeah, I mean... Yeah. There's, uh, yeah, so where were we? That's yeah, why yeah. take some edit in this it's, one. It's, yeah, you know, fuck it, don't matter. Um, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. You do get that instant sort of peat hit, but then it's got lots of really nice, lovely sort ooh. of subsidiary notes around it. Uh, it's earthy. Earthy, grassy. Very earthy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a bit of like, um, I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't know if it's citrus. I wouldn't quite call it that. No, no. Gra uh, yeah, you're, you know, you know that kind of green. Not, yeah. not earthy, but grassy. That kind of That's what I get. It, I think earthy is just the word that sprung, uh, sprung to mind on it, it which it doesn't of, necessarily say much, but it's... Uh, maybe some sort of, like, do you get them baked apples and things? Yeah. Kind of, you know, like an apple pie, kind of. Something, something along those lines. Cooked fruit. Does that make any sense? I guess so, yeah. It's got, like, an almost oh, bitterness behind it. Like, it, it, see, after the taste, the initial taste is gone, it has got the bitterness at the back of the mouth. But then... Maybe that's my taste. I don't know. It's um, it's really nice. It's got a really nice nose on it. Mm. Well, that's a beautiful nose. There's certainly a. That's an incredible one. That that's lovely. Sort of ash tree chimney kind of. Yeah, yeah. Smoke in there. It's really nice. Oh. That's, that's a that's a really interesting one oh, from Brewer Buddy. That I, I don't even know when this bottle's from. If I'm honest, two so uh, two thousand he uh, sorry so he passed away in two thousand six. So I think it's around about then. Yeah, so it's probably 10, 15, 10, well, at least 10 years old, so, yeah. yeah I'm not sure how many. Yeah, it doesn't say, because they're all... No, sorry, uh, I, I, sorry, I beg your pardon, I don't mean the, the whiskey age, I mean, the so, yeah, yeah, the way of when it was released, because it's interesting to try and find ones around the same time, uh, or if they do anything similar now, would be would be good to see, because that's, that's an incredible one, that. that's lovely. Mm. And a really surprising one, because we've tried a uh, couple of the Brewery Gladys before, um, we spoke. Of, we did a video on the Calvados cask, uh, which you weren't so keen on. But then the same one we also spoke. I think that's when we probably spoke briefly about this, and we also spoke about the Cuvée Three Eight Two. But they're all, and even the Classic Gladi, they're all way, way light. And I know this is more of the heavily peated version, but they're comparing it to this is, is totally, totally different. You've been eating. 
<laughs> what? It's weird. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's this. Could you not sniff me on video, please? Or at least pay extra. You know that. <laughs> anyway, back to the video where we're, I'm not being sniffed by Pete. That would be great. Did you be eating that bill tong or something? No. You know? It could be the whiskey. It's no, no, no. I don't think there's any sort of beefiness. So we're just going to... <laughs> you try to say I smell beefy. You smell beefy. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say is that you smell beefy. Anyway, this is only the second round. We've got some more videos to go today. Yeah, no, they'll be fun. They'll be fun. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. That's, uh, that's amazing. I'm I, really nice. I feel like uh, I'm like... really surprised, but pleasantly so by that. I was unsure because you know I'm not a big Petey fan, but that is. Um, Do you like an Isla? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. definitely worth a try. Absolutely. Yeah. Attack like bugs all the time. It's maybe my beefy smell. Maybe it is. It's like, it's like you know, like beef hula hoops. I, well, I've not been eating beef hula hoops, so. And the thing is, like, you know, this has really gone weird again. Because I mean, my, it's not even... my eyes, my eyes aren't that great, and my yeah. my hearing's dead. So you think you're smelling? I think my nose is even like daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh well, that's those are a couple of very nice ones to try. Yeah, absolutely. Those are well, the, if you're an Isla fan. Yeah, so uh, that was the Dalmore Twelve, which was on the shelf at six pound, and this the limited edition Nora Campbell tribute bottling, the three D three root Gladi, Um That's on for nine pounds. Yeah, so, I mean those are. Those are really nice. I, yeah, yeah. I, didn't I think expect, I'm going to be. Didn't expect yeah, yeah. You to be really I'm, honest, I'm really man. like weirdly pleasantly surprised with that. And I it's always good when it hits both of our palettes quite well because we've always said how different our palettes are. It's a lovely little amount of. Yeah, there's something in there for everyone. Mm. So yeah, that's lovely. Well, what we'll do then is add, we will finish that video just now. We'll and finish that drum just now. Finish sure. that drum just now. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Till all are one. Mm. Pleasure. So. We will have on the way in. Thanks very much. another whiskey tasting. Hopefully, it's already on the Facebook page. If not, yeah, good to see you. expect it to come up soon. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go film another one of these episodes. Uh, oh, yeah. upstairs. <laughs> so it should be all right here with the lovely microphones on. Right. And um, uh, that should be released in a few days again. We're trying to work out a schedule that spreads these out more so you get more of us. Because everyone wants more Darren and Pete, I think. There's more to go around. Yeah. Did you call me fat? No. It sounds like you call me fat. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, we'll see you in the bar soon. How?